trying to make, Eddie Cantor. I have in my library an album called Rogers Sings. You know, the people that have grown up with it and still want to hear it and love the music and the, the to say nothing of the artists. Uh, that perform it. It'll be happening our, March 13th, March 13th, 5:30 at the Olympic Towers Atrium. Right on the street level, 51st between. Uh, I think that's uh, free. It's absolutely free. Well, I'll be and there every hour. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is welcome to come and enjoy the music of Marty Napoleon and the uh, people that are going to be performing with us. And the Les Duskin Nostalgic Jazz Quintet. Well, I want to ask you a question, Marty. Would you do me a favor, Marty? Sure. Would you introduce a man named Sam Ulano, as I know only you could set the scene? <clears throat> well, I met Sam quite a few years ago, many years ago. And uh, he was a very well-known drum instructor in New York City. And a friend of mine was in the process of uh, writing a book, Mickey Sheen, a, drum, a drummer. And we uh, went up to Les's, uh, Sammy's studio to make to make some, make a picture, right. take a picture for the book. That's when I met Sammy, and I was very impressed with it. How would you rate Sammy as a drummer? Very, very good. In the top two top, or three oh, of, the, of, of the world. Right. I, I played this man's record of Sing, Sing, Sing on my radio show, and really? the crowds go wild. Huh? Sam, uh... Thanks, Marty. This part of our show is dedicated. You don't remember that. Right? That's the way I told him to say it. This part of our show is dedicated to what's happening around town in music. <coughs> I'll hold it up, and you make it very, very official. Well, okay, we Sam? have a uh, group called the uh, Sammy's New York Stompers, right? And we're going to have a Dixieland delight night on a Saturday night coming up this March eighth, this week, at the New York Jazz Center down at 380 Lafayette Street, run by Kobe Norita, who is probably one of the most involved ladies in the, the jazz scene. She's done more for musicians than almost anybody around. And in that group, we have, you can see John Bunch, who was formerly with Tony Bennett. Good friend of ours. Buddy Rich and Gene Cooper. And, and he Sam Ulano yeah. at the drum. If you want and to know more, you a young can... lady by the name of Corky that's going to do the vocals. If you want to know more about this, how do we contact you? Uh... Well, uh, all they got to do is come down to the jazz center. And they can see us down there. It's at 380 on Lafayette Street. And I think, uh, you know, uh, let's use the word uh, what we call nostalgia. Right. And I play with a big band up in the Bronx called Buster Long's the 16 piece band. And Buster came up with a, a better name. He calls it classic pop. I like that. And uh, as long as you don't say neuralgia, oh, right? Yeah, we're, there, not oh, we're there with a 16 piece like band, and you know people do want to come out and dance to a big band, and that's a place they can do it. You were talking but Saturday night. We're going to have a Dixieland delight. Saturday, March. It's going to be a lot of fun. You were talking about uh, involved ladies. How involved? In the current show is a lady named Margaret Moray. Have you been to Australia ever, uh, Margaret? No, I, no, I haven't. No, Nobody um, here ever? Nobody. Are we um, invited to Sydney? Yes, <laughs> I know him well. You can come and have a barbecue around the pool. Promise? <laughs> Promise. Sounds great. And a boomerang. That won't boomerang it. Boomerang. No. Right. <laughs> Margaret, name your production. Let's fill that house, okay? Yes, it's called The Crime of This Life. It's opening tonight, and it'll be running for three weeks at the Sanford Meisner Theatre. Directed by Victor Allen. It's a story written by Walter Pagoon. And I hope that you'll all be coming. Yes? Help me yeah, say your last invited? name with the French You're accent. You're invited. Help me with the, with the French accent on the last name. Now, well, my full name is Margaret Moray Guérin. But so many people have a problem with that, so I just say Margaret Moray. Mrs. Australia and the theater one more time is called? At the Sanford Meisner Theater, The Crime of This Life. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be a crime if I didn't make my friends happy. Marty Napoleon walked in and he says, I want to see Morris Katz. Right. And, and, and he's got good, ca good, good got taste, good taste. Ladies I hang gentlemen. around with cats all my life. <laughs> <laughs> this, and this is for the jazz cats here, for Sam Ulano <laughs> and Les Duskin and Marty Napoleon. And Mrs. Australia, I give you the world's fastest artist. I got uh, more fan mail for him than, I guess, than anybody combined. I give you in the spotlight from the Guinness Book of World Records, Mr. Speedy Katz. Thank you very much, the great Joe Franklin, the marvelous panel here, and this lady from Australia. I have been to Australia in 1968, you know. Before I went there, I thought every kitchen had a kangaroo hopping. But then I realized I did not have so many kangaroos there, but it was uh, such a beautiful experience. I was on television there, and uh, as I said before, it's always uh, privileges to create these special events for the public. And I'll be doing now two paintings, two seasons. Australia in, um, in July. In July means it's winter in Australia now. This was my whole idea, to open up several studios international, so I would have um, two seasons every year instead of you having four seasons. I mean the warm seasons. 
So here is one. They're going to be into gold leaf frames inducted these paintings. One is going to be called springtime and the other one is going to be called uh, winter. But into a genuine gold leaf uh, oval shapes, two paintings. I don't know how much time we have. So if there's not much time, I will forfeit my signature, but the art must be here. So uh, let me just go back. It's not just, you know, as I do a lot of kibitzing and, and I'm supposed to be also a very established promoter of various corporations that do events, public access, uh, raising funds for various charity causes, which I do. I'm very experienced with fund, fundraising for political campaigns or for various hospitals, schools, etc. So here it is coming up. Matter of fact, I'll be in uh, Pompano, Pompano Lakes in New Jersey uh, on March the 9th, on the same day when, when the great Joe Franklin was born. By the way, um, a happy birthday, Joe Franklin, March the 9th. And may you carry on these uh, great shows for the next another 55 years, etc. cetera. Uh, they just told me if I don't finish off the paintings, I won't be able to finish even whatever. Here it is. This is winter and this is summer, springtime. I forgot. I made a mistake. So what do I do? I cover up my mistakes. Here, I just do a different color. Now it's summer going to be again. So I did two winters. Why? I was not thinking for a second. So it just shows you I must continue thinking all the time. And if I think a lot, they tell me things a lot in my shows. As this gentleman said, he likes the cats, whatever. I bet you he must have come back already from the cat skills, seen my shows there. He made a very nice comment. I'm very delighted to see. Uh, oh, just a minute. This is winter and this is spring, yeah. In a few seconds, we are going back now to the cherry blossoms coming on this side. There's some, some lilacs also, yes. Uh, different experiences. I'm so always caught in the middle. It's not just making up uh, uh, communications. It's a life dedicated to art. Look at the cherry blossom uh, colors. Yeah, I know. It makes me feel like the other guy was great comedy, remember? I won't mention your names. I know, I know. They just showed me. I mean, um, a beautiful signal, which I was very excited. And I put springtime into winter, which means the timing is very low. The cameraman, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Bob Diamond is also excited with this experience. In the meantime, I am stop behind. Let me put in a piece of skier now here before anything else comes in. Yeah, I don't want to put any champion uh, skiing because the entire championship is going to be frozen for years. You never know. And here we're going to have a, a beautiful lady walking with an umbrella. Give me time to put an umbrella because there's a rain coming in now. Showing another finger. I don't know how much time I got now on this finger. Who knows? But uh, uh, you see, Joe Franklin's show have never been, been edited. They are done, created on the spot, and you're seeing it live as it actually happens. So here are the two seasons. I'm signing it now on the ice. I got stuck in the snow. That's why the signature did not complete so quick. And the other one in the, in the blossom, cherry blossom uh, scene next to the, to the tree of life from the, you know, Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden. Uh, they had, uh, let me go back, never mind the jokes. Let me go back to the custom framing. The art alive, taking shape step by step. In a few seconds, not yet finished. We need two paintings here to qualify. So bear with me. I, I, I wish I had five more hands. So here is the unique workmanship as you see it now into a gold leaf oval frame honoring the, the Joe Franklin show, genuine idea, art alive. Just created two original step by step as you see it now. Here it is. Perfect image. Yes. Find it. <laughs> 